Welcome to Famous Fortunes, I hope you are well. Welcome to this Halloween edition of Famous Fortunes, the one episode of the year where all restraint, all everything goes out the window on this episode of Famous Fortunes. It's the one episode of the year where we do a, you know, to quote Bohemian Grove, we do a cremation of care. We don't give an F on this episode, we're just going to read what the cards say. And go with it. There is no holding back on today's episode. The Halloween special. The sun has gone down where I am. And it is officially Halloween. So welcome to the spooky, spooky episode of 2024. The spookiest episode. Episode I've been waiting to do for 12 months. And I've been considering... Uh, for many, many months now, what exactly I'm going to read on. And I have carefully considered my options today and consulted the tower, of course. And we're going to read on the demons of Montecito today. That's what we're going to read on. And we're going to read about what demonic forces are in Montecito. This is actually, I, I when I was thinking about this, this is, this would make a fantastic horror movie. Uh, and I think uh, if anyone's out there in the audience with connections, let's do it. Let's do a thing. Uh, we're gonna. This could definitely be a basis of a horror movie, but we're gonna find out that not not. This isn't gonna be fiction tonight, folks. This is gonna be fact. We're gonna we're gonna connect in, in this episode to the demons of Montecito and what they're all about and what they want with the people there. That's what we're gonna find out. What are those demons all about in Montecito? You think it's uh. You think it's free of demons in Montecito? You think because they're rich, they, they're demon-free? Uh, I would say quite the opposite. I think it's because... I think that would be a, a major demonic hotspot. I think... In, in big time. In, in fact, I think the whole of perhaps Los Angeles would be a demonic hotspot in many respects because of its influence over the culture and over the world. And it, you don't think they're going to be targeted with, uh, with what they pump out there? You don't think it's, they're going to be targeted uh, in a big way to be influenced to influence what comes out of the you know the sewer pipe of Hollywood? Well, we're going to find out today on the show. We're going to find out. We're going to focus in on Montecito specifically, and we're going to find out more about what happens in the unseen world of Montecito. Let's do it. Let's ju let's jive in. Let's jive in. Let's dive in. Let's connect now. What? Let's have a look at the. At the forces that are there in the demonic world in Montecito, what do we have to work with? What is on the cards? What is on the table? Let's dive in. Let's throw some cards. What do we have in Montecito in terms of the demonic uh, cavalry, let's say? Ooh, we have an eight of wands. Interesting energy there. Interesting energy. Strong, uh, strong activity. There you go. It's the first uh, indication. What do we have in Montecito in the demonic realm? Cards are hot. Oh, no. wow. Now, I wanted, before I show you what the underlying energy is, you need to know that there are no cuts. I have talked for three minutes. There's no cut. I shuffled on camera, everything like that. The underlying energy is the devil. The underlying energy is the devil, and there's a devil with every family. That's the underlying energy. Unbelievable, folks. First card on the show is... I tell you, right, the tarot is no joke when it comes to occult things. The lovers. Wow. There's a couple there. There's a, there's a particular couple. There's a stronger connection with the dark side. But family as well. Or a family. Three of wands. And so let's have a look. What do we have? The king of cups. The page of cups. The prince of cups. More cards. We have the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune. We have the King of Wands. We talked about that just the other day. That is a that is a demonic entity right there. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Queen of Wands. All right. So, all right. What do we have in Montecito? Where's my pencil? Where is my pencil? Where is my pencil? Well, sure, today, we're going to do something different. We're going to do a red Sharpie today. We're going to do a red Sharpie. If you know, you know. So, let's... Uh, let's Let's, let's, we're changing it up on Halloween. Let's uh, let's let's break down these cards. What demonic forces are active in Montecito? Yes, underlying energy. We have the devil. Hundred percent. There's demonic activity. 
going on in Montecito. Strong demonic activity. Now, when I see the devil card, I don't want to sort of mix words here. There are, in terms of interdimensional entities, you get neutral, you get, you know, sort of trickster, you get this, you get that. But really, when you hit the devil card, you, you, we're talking hardcore demons at that point. We're not talking, you know, I'm sort of dabbling. Those they're not they're, those demons aren't dabbling anymore. They're 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 signed up. They're life. They're lifers. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what we have now. This could be tied to a particular family. Uh, this could be tied to a family. It could also be tied one to each family. There's a possibility there as well. So there's something going on. It could also be a family of demons. That's something interesting to think about. Now, why do I say that? Because we have the Lovers card. So I, I think there's... We, we're talking specifically about the demonic realm in Montecito. This card here is talking about... There's a, there is a male and female, and I'll show you here, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. I'll talk more about their archetype in a minute. But there looks like there's a, there's a, a, a demonic power couple in Montecito that is... That, that is a... That, takes residence there, I suppose. They live there, they operate there, and they're perhaps a king and queen. Now, you, you ask, you're going to ask me, Lord of the Orbs, tell me more. Tell me more about the kings and queens of the underworld. They certainly exist, folks. And you know, I was actually watching, just before, I was watching on Netflix, Graham Hancock Season 2 of uh, ancient sort of archaeology and all the rest of it. He was talking about the, the Americas, he was talking about uh, the, the Mayans, and he was talking about the Temple of the Sun and the Temple of the Moon. Let me break that down for you to, to help you understand kings and queens of the underworld. So he's so close to understanding the truth, he just needs the occult knowledge now. Basically, when it comes to the seven planetary systems, there are what's called sublunary spirits, meaning under the, under the moon, if you like, uh, you're getting, with each planet, you're getting kings, a king of the underworld with each planet, basically. So there's a, there's a demonic king of the sun, there's a demonic king of the moon, there's a demonic king of Mars, there's a demonic king of Mercury, there's a demonic king of Jupiter, there's a demonic king of uh, Venus, there's a demonic king of Saturn, right? So seven, right? That's how it is. There's seven. Seven kings of the underworld. And within this sort of, uh, let's say, the hierarchy of, of, of spirits and all the rest of it, there's kings, uh, kings and you know queens and that type of thing. So, what we're seeing here is some pretty, you know, pretty high-powered stuff going on. Devil card, king, queen. Uh, in terms of Montecito, there's definitely a local spirit, king and queen, that are, you know, together in a relationship. The entities can be, you know, they have, that's, they can they have kingdoms, they have rulerships, they have localities, principalities, they have relationships, uh, all that type of thing. So. Uh, Graham Hancock's so close to understanding it, you know, this Temple of the Sun, yeah, they were doing sacrifices there to these interdimensional spirits, always represented by snakes, always. It's always a snake, right? It's always a snake because that's how they appear in the astral realm. They take the form of snakes. This is the devils, right? The devils take the form of snakes, always. Always, always, always. Almost always. They are snake symbolisms. This is, he's so close, and that's why they have, they have such a powerful connection with astrology, if you go on, you're going to go and watch Netflix now, you're going to watch Grain Hancock and it's everything's aligned to all these planets and there are the stars and all the rest of it because in, in our universe, everything is connected. It's, it's a magical universe and days of the week, solstices, all the rest of it are, are, are potential portals and openings to the demonic world, right? That's, you know, in, in, in this case, the demonic world, also to good things too, but, you know, we're talking about the dark side. So, so it's, it's close. They're close, right? Close, they're close to the understanding of it. Now, in here we have clearly a king and a queen of Montecito, or let's say the local government, the local demonic government. How high up are in the hierarchy? We need to find that out. Now, we have, interestingly enough, they it's like they watch over Montecito. I want to show you this here, the three of wands energy they watch over montecito graham hancock is probably looking for the, you know 50 years to understand what the hell they're doing down there and all well, these temples and all the rest of it it's demonic entities they did in egypt babylon you know mesopotamia all across the americas they, they're literally offering sacrifices to demonic entities this is all it's just what they're doing and they're connected to different planets and da -da 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 -da, venus the moon the sun all this sort of stuff right there's also super lunary spirits which are angels and they're above the moon to sort of they're a different thing. They're in the heavens, right? It's not the underworld. 
So there's like a mirror. There's the upstairs and the downstairs. Each planet has an angel in charge of it. But then they also have the, the inverse, which is the sort of demonic side, right? Right, I'm just giving you an example here to understand. Now, they watch over Montecito. They look out for Montecito. Are they... They are... What's the word I'm looking for? They are... Keeping tabs on what's happening in Montecito. What's their interest? We'll find out. What is their interest? We will find out today. So they're standing their ground as the as the sort of local chieftains, let's say. Let's use those words for now. We'll find out how far up the hierarchy they are. We know what side they're on. And we also have here King, Page, and a Prince of Cups. That's very interesting. This to me looks like humans coming in here, humans involved. With the water element, you also have the fire element, which is the queen of wands, and the king of wands is the fire element. These are the spirits. These are probably families and, and that they're connected to. So we have a lot to work with, right? Let's find out how far up are these spirits up the demonic hierarchy in Montecito. Let's go. And let's go. It is Halloween, folks. It's Halloween. How far up are these spirits in the demonic hierarchy? Does anyone know the area well? There are graveyards in Montecito. <laughs> I have to Google that. How far up the demonic hierarchy are they? Cards are hot. Look at this. This is the couple energy again coming in. So we have the lovers before. Four of coins. Five of wands. The fool. The fool. The hierophant. And justice. Okay. That's interesting. So this is part of like the demonic government, right? The demonic government, and maybe some type of um, adjudication role, also keeping people in line. This is very much a government card uh, here. It's like they, they have a hold on Montecito. I mean, the zero card would speak of it being quite high up the hierarchy, at least in Montecito on a local sort of government level, uh, if we want to talk about that. Mm, I would say they're quite high up with the with the Hierophant card, quite high up, the Fool as well, quite high up. Five of Wands. Now, this could be, you know, sort of, there might be four other people, let's say, on their level, maybe in their sort of area or up the hierarchy somewhere. So, okay, I, I'd say not. they're not small time. I will say that. They're definitely not small time. They are definitely not small time. Whereabouts in Montecito are they? Let's have a look. Is there a Montecito graveyard? Is there a Montecito cemetery? There is Montecito cemetery. Santa Barbara cemetery. Freaky deaky. Oh, 100% there is. The mausoleums they've built. Oh, there's a pyramid. Have a look, uh, Google it. There's literally a pyramid uh, that has been built at Montecito Cemetery. I'm not even making this up. There is an, a literal Illuminati style pyramid that has been built. You know, I was watching Graham Hancock talking about the pyramids of the Mayans. You know how they have the steps? The steps that go up to the top of the pyramids and that's where the God would have been, right? Their God, their snake God they would have offered their sacrifice to. This is This is 100% satanic propaganda i'll tell you why because devils don't live in a realm above us devils actually live in a realm below us and they have to come up to our level they walk up the stairs to our level we don't walk upstairs to their level that's not what happens so it's it's an interesting sort of satanic inversion the pyramids are a satanic inversion <laughs> in a sense in a sense it, it, it shouldn't be the other way it should be steps that go down uh it, it just should represent going to those but they sort of want to be our god so it has to be the other way around right has to be the pyramid going up. All right, the pyramid. The pyramid is such a symbol of 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 power and of uh, the the lust and acquisition for power. It's not even funny. So, all right, where where do these where do these devils reside in Montecito? Let's see what we get on the cards. Where do these devils reside? There is a literal pyramid. It is unbelievable. We have the Five of Swords. Five of coins, interesting. Ace of coins, 
Five of Wands again. Mm, and the Emperor. The King. The King. We have here the Ten of Wands and Justice. King energy coming in. Mm. This is interesting. So... This looks like somewhere near water, somewhere near water with the five of swords. I'm just having a look. Is it, could it be the cemetery? Is the cemetery near water? Cemetery, 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 cemetery is near the water. Okay, this is, I was, this is gonna be my first thoughts, cemetery. Uh, first thoughts, Santa Barbara Cemetery, near water. You've got here a sort of hedge, if you like, hedge with flowers uh, on one side coming in. Also here, a five of coins, which is outside a church. I mean, I think that's the, 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 the insinuation of that card. Is there a church at the cemetery? Hmm. Is there a church nearby? There usually would be. Interesting. Interesting. The Crypt of Heather Angel. That's a strange... What is that? I'm having a look at the website. There's some strange things there. All right. So, yeah, close close by the water, near a hedge. Um, so near the, near the shoreline, let me tell you another secret, that a lot of entities do live near the shoreline, whether it be rivers, whether it be the ocean, that type of thing. That's generally where they accumulate. They tend to accumulate in that shoreline area, interestingly enough. So, what else do we have? Justice. Again, we have justice coming in. It's quite strong. Uh, energy, we've seen that again. And we see this Ten of Wands. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Okay, so, to me, somewhere near the shoreline. Okay. What is it that they get from the people of Montecito? What is it that they... Why do they reside there? What is their interest in the place? Interest the lovers. Okay, is there is there a couple there? Interestingly, okay, so we have here the nine of wands. This is like an injury card, illness. Ten of wands, death. Interesting, or that's not that looks like it could be a sacrifice. Two of swords, nine of cups, and the prince of wands. This is a strange archetype. Hmm. What is their interest in this place? You know, this is a card that we've seen on a long time in the show. This is the archetype of Prince Harry, right? That's quite a bit strange. It's a strange thing. Are they interested in Prince Harry for some reason? Hmm. Ten of Swords is a card of death. Really, it is. It's a card of death. It's a card of intentional death. I mean, there's, there's that. Uh, it's a card of... Suffering here, suffering. It's it, it's almost like they're sort of feeding on it here. But this is a strange card as well. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to mean Harry. I'm just pointing out that it is his archetype. It's a bit strange. Uh, now we have a two of swords. It's uh, I mean, you could say people can't see them. So right, they're not they're unseen. They're unseen force in Montecito. This is a strange energy. What are they getting here? What are they getting? Montecito. Montecito. Is there some type of unexplained um, deaths in Montecito that we should know about? Is that something that happens? Hmm.
What's this? The strange case of the Montecito mudslide human remains. Okay, uh, death toll from the Montecito mudslide rises to 18. Uh, mystery deepens over the deaths of two young women found in Montecito Heights Park. I'm just having a look at the, you know, the, some of the, um, some of the news articles over the years. We have detectives say, this is last year, suspect an unsolved Montecito murder drove to victim's home from LA. Okay. So, I mean, it, I, I think it's fairly safe to say that they have an interest in, you know, people suffering here, basically. They're profiting on people suffering energetically, which is, you know, pl plausible. Getting a kick out of it, energy out of it, all that type of thing. Uh, this is a fairly serious card here with the Ten of Swords. Fairly serious card. Uh, let's ask now, I want to ask specifically, is there any people in Montecito that have a specific interest in? Creepy episode. Creepy episode to that time misfortunes. Is there any people that have an interest in these demons? Cards are hot. Okay, there's a woman here. There's a woman and a man. A man and a woman that have an interest in. Okay. The star. So yes, a famous person. A famous person, or a, a man and a woman, husband and a wife that are famous. Three of Cups, maybe three people. King of Wands, that, that's the demon. Six of Coins, oh, is it like a... Is this, is this uh, offerings that are being given to this entity? Is this this, so there's a famous couple that are giving offerings to an entity in Montecito. Or, another way of saying this is a famous couple, offerings, this is Ace of Cups, I should have mentioned that, offerings, giving offerings, is there a small coven in Montecito, Three of Cups, the coven card, giving offerings to this local um, local uh, demon ruler, if you like, let's just call it that. I forget the name of the, I forget the name they call them off the top of my head. Uh, but uh, there's definitely someone famous that's that uh, that participates in this. Uh, I believe it's a husband and a wife. Okay, and they were giving offerings. So I mean, it looks like there's some level of sort of, you know, Satanism. Let's say Satanism is a broad term. Okay, it's 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 a broad term. What is Satanism essentially? Uh, and this is going to be a hot sort of ticket of debate, I'm sure. But essentially, it's offerings to do one against these basically that's kind of what it is in, in in a nutshell i don't know what say whatever you like or whatever the definitions are that's what it is why is that you know why is that like a religion why is it like uh because an offering is a type of like you're putting energy to demonic entities it's like it's a form of worship right basically it's kind of what they say devil worship but really it's devil offering that's kind of how it is devil worship is kind of like a you know a very sort of indescript way of talking about it offerings is a form of you know worship basically so they're getting something out of it in other words they're offering the demon things they're getting things back uh what are they what are they offering what is this coven or husband and wife offering to this entity now it's the plot thickens yeah there's definitely a couple or two or three people three people probably that 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 steam has, has an interest with but they, those three people work together. It's not, it's not like they're um, sort of, you know, in three separate houses or whatever. So what do they, what do they offer? What are they offering this entity? And if you're wondering, do I need to burn sage or whatever? I've, I've done so much protection today. I don't think that that... Yeah, <laughs> that would even, that, there'd be just no chance. Uh, two of Cups. I don't need the Sage, it's fine. Uh, two of Cups, hold the Sage. Ace of Wands, what are they offering? So, is a couple coming in, offering four of Swords. Four of Swords. Hmm, Judgment. Oh, oh, I see. I see what they're offering. Ten of 
cups, ace of pentacles as an offering. So this is going to get quite freaky, right? Why is this going to get freaky? Where's my red sharpie? Where's my tea? I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. If you if you are squeamish, it's time to it's time to watch another show. I'm just going to give you a heads up. Fair warning on this. If you if you want to be you know freaked out and entertained, keep watching. But if you want to if you actually are going to get freaked out, then it's time to switch off. Okay, so this card kind of gave it away for me. You know, lying down, the body's inactive. You know what I'm saying? Like a dead body. This card really opened up. You got here these caskets and these people that are being taken out of the caskets. So I think maybe human body parts maybe maybe play a role here. Now, interestingly enough, isn't uh, Montecito basically a an, an Indian burial ground kind of thing? Is that is kind of that what's happening? Because it seems to be. That's, that's an interesting sort of thing. But it seems to be human body parts could come into this. Just by going off this, opening up these graves, if you like, and you've got these people coming out of the grave, and you've got this sort of person here lying down. It's like a human... They're not alive. You know, that, that's not the thing, but, you know, that sort of seems to be what's being offered here. Uh, you know, pretty potent magic, I would say. Pretty potent black magic, I would say, if that was to happen. I think there was a story going back two years ago of this happening in Melbourne. And this guy, the Satanist, was digging up people in a graveyard, in a big graveyard in Fitzroy or whatever. It's, you know, you can't really miss it. And uh, he took some heads or whatever. Uh, pretty serious stuff. Pretty serious stuff. And the guy got caught and all the rest of it. But uh, it kind of does, it, it does happen. Afri I'd say in Africa, it's very, um, you know, grave, grave robbery is very well known in certain parts of Africa. Uh, it, it's definitely a thing. So I didn't realize it was perhaps... Are there, are there, is, is this happening in Montecito? Are they getting this stuff from Montecito or what's happening? Let's continue with that. Let's continue this line of thought. Is this stuff coming from Montecito or is it coming from outside of Montecito? Inside or outside? Ten of cups, ten of wands, six of cups. There's that offering sort of energy again. The moon oh, and the emperor. The seven. I think it's being carried in here. It's being it's being transported. I think to Montecito. I think that's what's happening here in secret, mind you. Obviously, it's an it's an occult operation. They're being gifted it's not being paid for so is this like a satanic network what's happening here interesting this is husband energy again male energy uh, man energy coming in um, uh, i would imagine that's what it is we've got a family energy i don't like that at all uh and then seven of wands i would say is this part of a larger satanic network that's what i want to ask it doesn't look like it's being paid for which makes me think it's sort of uh, I didn't just pay someone in, you know, I don't know, what would you do? Pay someone in some place uh, to, to do that and then to remove it back? Or is this a satanic network? What's going on? Ah, interesting. Ten of Wands, again, and the offering here, Ace of Pentacles. Underlying energies. Emperor. The Emperor is coming up again strongly. Six of Cups, same card. Ten of Cups, same card. Nine of Wands, interesting. Prince of Cups. Yeah, this isn't being done for money so much. I don't believe it. This is the offering. It's not being done for money. I don't believe it's being done for money. This is being done uh, for... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, demonic... What did I say? What's the word? Demonic offerings offerings right offerings worship all that type of thing it's not uh it's not a profit thing people aren't sort of doing this for money you know they're not paying someone 10 grand for a whatever all right i don't know what an episode huh but yeah it looks like it's what's happening here's this male figure coming in again it's male dominant male figure coming in being gifted this type of thing there's a strong energy being gifted it's twice in a row we've seen that now twice in a row 
twice in a row. What are the people that are doing these offerings, this small group of people, what are they getting out of this? Let's see what we get. What are they getting out of it? You know what the demons are getting out? What are they getting? The demons of Montecito. You probably clicked this episode thinking I was going to talk about the people. <laughs> the demons of Montecito. This, I'm telling you, this episode could have been a, can be a horror movie easily. 100% could be a horror movie. Probably cuts a bit too close to the bone for those people in Montecito, right? Or the, the elites. What are the people that are doing these offerings getting? Ooh, 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 ooh. Underlying energy. The death card. And the eight of coins. We have ace of cups offering. Judgment. Offering the body parts. Prince of pentacles. Old body parts. Queen of swords. The demand. The getting demands. 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 What next card? Page of swords. This is two of swords. It's like a demand. They, 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 they're demanding something or, or asking for something. There's a woman here coming in. And two of swords. Interesting energy. Am I being blocked from... I'm being blocked. I'm actually being blocked right now. They're blocking a humble lord just trying to read on what they're asking for. I'm not able to see it. Hmm. That rustles my jimmies a little bit. What on earth... Uh, on energy is this. What on earth energy is this? Now, death, interesting. Right, we're talking about death. We're talking about work here. Some, working on something. Working on something. Death work. Potentially. But but the real thing here is I'm being blocked. So I don't know how far... To, I, I can't take this any further. What is What on earth are they getting out of this? That's a question. That's a question. What? If it's death work, who's the target? Because I'm not able to see that. All I'm able to see is the underlying energies and what I've said and not exactly the specifics, which would be this card, that position. This is the card. I should have seen it because all this makes sense. This is the woman asking and being blocked. Oh, that's frustrating. That is frustrating. That is frustrating, folks. Wow, uh, what a what an interesting, what an interesting. You know, we're not. It's not like we got no hit today. We we got mad hits. Every read was so coherent. Today's episode, freaky, freaky, freaked out. I need to go and have a shower or something. Wash myself down after this. I definitely need the sage now. Definitely going to smoke myself out, I think, after this. Going to go a pile of sage and run through it in the backyard. <laughs> wow, I don't know what to say. Freaky. I'm glad I did all that protection work before because I feel like there's a, there's a fortress going on here and uh, it is what it is what it is. It's, it's good. I'm glad I've got it right now. I'm really glad I've got it. This is some seriously freaky deaky energies. Did you expect anything less? from you know i actually did speak to someone uh or i i heard from someone let's say a little while back that uh they said hollywood has 800 devils that were sent there to to take the place and that number was chosen i'm getting oh, mad chills right now that number was chosen specifically that number was chosen eight they chose 800 devils specifically specifically to go there and to 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 infiltrate not not to see it over, but to infiltrate uh, Los Angeles, and uh, to sort of to take it and influence it. So they use numerology and demonic influence and all the rest of it. Freaky story. I'm getting super chills right now. Uh, let that be known. Uh, I'll I'll talk to you more of tomorrow's episode, and uh, hope hope you've enjoyed your Halloween special.